in today's video, we will be discussing about math expressions. Now, what is a math expression? It is a statement using the combination of math signs. So that is going to be your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These will also be referred to as the sum of two numbers, the difference of two numbers, the product of two numbers, and the quotient of two numbers. So let's talk about some math expressions. 5 minus 3, math expression. 14 plus 9 minus 3 is a math expression. 8 times 4 times 2 is a math expression. So now that we know what an expression is, let's talk about how we're supposed to evaluate them. This is where we will get into our order of operations. This is often referred to as PEMDAS or the acronym, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So essentially what this acronym is, this is to help us always remember in what order we're supposed to solve an expression. So we start off with parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, whichever one comes first, and then addition or subtraction, whichever one comes first. So now that we know what orders of operations are, let's, let's go ahead and spitball a couple of expressions here and see if we can evaluate them. I'll do the sum of 10 and 7 multiplied by 3 and add 8. So how I want to start this off, well, seeing that we have parentheses, I'm going to solve what's inside of them. So that will give me 10 plus 7, that will give me 17 times 3 plus 8. So we did our parentheses, we don't have exponents, we do however have multiplication. So if a number <coughs> is to the right or to the left of a parenthesis, it is assumed to be multiplication if no other signs are there. So this is going to be 17 times 3, which is 51, plus 8, which is equal to 59. Let's do another random expression here. We're going to do 4 times 5 plus 3 times 1 plus 5. We're going to start off with our parentheses, as it says in PEMDAS. So this will equal 4 times 5 plus 3 times 6. No exponent. We do have multiplication. So this is going to be 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 times 6 is 18. 20 plus 18 will give me 38.
So I want you to pause the video and see if you can solve these two word problems. All right, let's begin. Alex has five baseball cards. He goes to the sporting goods store to buy eight more cards. On the way home, Alex sees his friend Miles, who has double his amount of cards. Write an expression to represent how many cards Miles has, then evaluate the expression. So starting off, Alex has five cards. He goes to the sporting goods store to buy eight more cards. So he's adding eight to his collection. On the way home, his friend Miles has double the amount of Alex's cards. So the expression would be two times the sum of five and eight. And this will represent the amount of cards Miles has. Now let's evaluate. If you can recall our order of operation, you would know that parentheses go first. So we're going to add the five and eight together. That is going to give us 13 times two, which is equal to 26. So Miles has 26 cards. Next question. Carla is picking apples for her family. After picking 48 apples, she sees that 10 apples are bad, so she throws them out. Before heading home, she stops by a neighboring farm to pick up 12 apples. Write an expression to represent how many apples Carla brings to our house, then evaluate the expression. So Carla starts off with 48 apples and gets rid of 10 because they're bad. And before she goes home, she picks up 12 apples from a neighboring farm. So she's going to first, she's taking the difference between 48 and 10, and then she's going to add 12 apples to that difference. So we're going to subtract first, and then add 12 to that difference. And so that is going to represent. Carla's apples. This is going to equal 38 plus 12, and then 38 plus 12, that will give me 50 apples.